Hey everybody, we're going to watch House of Cards episode 2. Um, I'm already addicted to this show. <laughs> I love Kevin Spacey so much and I love political drama. It's so good. Okay, okay so last episode he was um, up for Secretary of State under the new President Walker. He was passed over for that job by uh, Michael Kern who he's trying to get de-seated apparently and he's getting all his co-workers basically under his wing so he can basically get him thrown out of office I guess um and he's I guess he's maneuvering to get a higher position to, than that because he's trying to get Kathy Durant I guess uh in that position or maybe he's gonna screw her over who knows um he now has a do boy whatever the guy's name is I think it's Peter I'm not sure he was uh drinking and driving he has a long history of that apparently and now he has to remain loyal to our guy Kevin Spacey and I don't know what his name is still um that's never a good thing to have to protest your loyalty to someone in any political arena that's bad <laughs> this guy is so screwed pretty good job I love his relationship with his wife they are kind of messed up but they have each other's back and they you know they they're very motivational to each other. Like, listen, no crying. Let's get this shit handled. Like, what are you doing right now? I kind of love that a lot. That's a, that's a lot. That's my personality. I really don't have time for... I don't have patience for, like, whining about stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's totally my personality. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Let's watch episode two of House of Cards. Tell them I'm on top of it. I need more than that. You are well aware that I do not drop the ball on things like this, Remy. Talk to me when I've solved the problem. Don't waste my time when I'm working on solving. Don't make them throw money at your challenger next cycle. You've made your point. Have I? I hope so. Michael Kern went to Williams. Check out the masthead. And then there's this. It's thin. The guy's a unicorn. He pisses rainbows. You think we can get traction with this? I think you could. I disagree with something I say it. Well, I disagree 100%. Please, Claire, don't do this. I respect your opinion, Evelyn, and I appreciate you her her sharing ass. it with me, but I'm not going to change my mind. Frank, this is not your fault. No, we have to protect your reputation. <laughs> I am not comfortable with this. Well, then what do you suggest we do? What a martyr craves more than anything is a sword to fall on. So you sharpen the blade, hold it at just the right angle, and then three, two, one. It should be me. It was my bill. No. Impossible. Donald. Well, if not you, then who? <laughs> it should be you, Frank. That I could still come to you for counsel. Of course. <laughs> Whatever you need. <laughs> that is great. Army is glad. This is so fucked up. Leaked. Can you stop walking like you're up to no good? Miss Barnes. How very deep throat of you. What? It is the opinion of this newspaper that President Carter demand Israel withdraw all its citizens from the Gaza Strip and West Bank. Which it has illegally occupied since 1967. Illegally occupied. That's quite an incendiary quote, don't you think? For an administration that says the Middle East is its top foreign policy priority. Michael Kern? I can't get this past Hammerschmidt. Remember this moment when you resisted me. When you said the words, then there is no story. Get a good night's sleep, Miss Bonds. You have a big day tomorrow. What is this? What does it look like? But the basement is mine. I know. It's not for me. So who's it for? For you. Is this your subtle way of saying that I'm out of shape? No, it's my way of suggesting you could be in better shape. That sounds both passive aggressive and condescending. <laughs> He'll use it. I didn't agree with President Reagan on many things, but there was some merit to the notion of trickle-down economics, and I feel there is much merit to the idea trickle down of trickle-down diplomacy. If we Those are my lines. That's that's what he must have given them to him. Because just before we came on the air, I received an advanced copy of an article that's going to be in tomorrow's Washington Herald's front page, 
which called the Israeli presence in the Gaza Strip and West Bank, quote, an illegal occupation. But so it couldn't it have gone out without your approval. No, of course not. But, but were they in line with your thinking at the time? <laughs> this, is this is ludicrous. That's all I made I him laughing. Ago, have you ever changed your views since college? Certainly, Anything. but I'm not the nominee for Secretary of State. <laughs> I did only... And he calls Israel illegal. Well, he's an anti-Semite and he is wrong. We would have grave, grave concerns about appointing such a man our next Secretary of State. It's too easy. I know, right? <laughs> You're scolding me. Am I? You are, silently. Is it the rowing machine? <laughs> you tell me. It's the rowing machine. I love his conversation. Use the machine. Dana says I quietly scream. She's right. <laughs> I should take better care of myself. What if people thought he wrote it? Oh, fuck, Dad. He's a fraud. You want me to lie to the people. I want you to spare the people another hypocrite. What's in it for you? Poetic justice? I'm going to need you to leave us today, too, Evelyn. I'm sorry. I thought Evelyn would quit. I just can't quit. have any doubt about the direction I'm taking. But, damn. She had her fire all those people, and then you just had me fire 18 people. I know. I am 59 years old. Nobody hires anybody my age. I will write you any kind of to do what? bag groceries. Hey, right, Evelyn. I truly No, you're not. Am. You don't give a fuck. Eighteen people, Claire. Bending we see you, Zoe. I can link Kern directly to the Williams editorial. What? I've got a guy named Roy Kopeniak who was on the editorial staff when hey, Kern was there. Twitter twat. WTF. Wait, wait, wait. I have, I have him on record saying Kern wrote every word of the editorial. Let's move this into my office. Zoe, Lucas. Janine! Janine's <laughs> pissed. CNN right now. I've got it all. Are not only ignorant, they are racist. Get ready, Kathy. Things are about to move very quickly. Understanding of the Middle East okay. is so out of I'm ready. I like Kathy too. You have a point. Yeah, I can Kern were appetizers, Miss Bonds. Catherine Durant is the meal. Say that name. Catherine Durant. Say it over and over. Tomorrow afternoon, write it down. Then watch that name come out of the mouth of the President of the United States. This is where we get to create. Zoe Barnes at the Washington Herald now reporting, quoting a source close to the President, as saying that Senator Catherine Durant will likely be the new nominee for Secretary of State after Michael Curran's withdrawal earlier this week. Let's start talking about when and what and how Durant's going to shape a foreign policy. God, I love this show. Now for the real meeting. So what is happening with Michael Kern? A total nightmare. You know who you're going to tap next? Somehow, the rumor is flying around that we're going to nominate Catherine Durant. I'm sure you've noticed. But you'd show yourself above party politics, and I know she'd work all the harder for her. Decent experience, respect across the aisle. So you think we can seriously consider her? It's not the worst idea in the world. I was Who just... Who are you fucking? Nobody. Oh, come on. You're a metro scrub, and now look at you. You'd have to be fucking somebody important. <laughs> I'm just doing my job, Janine. Not yet. Excuse me. Jealousy is a horrible thing. What a roller coaster. It really is too bad. Kern is a good man. And now Catherine Durant. Yes. Right place, right time, I suppose. We like her, don't we? Very much. Question is, does she like Sandcorp as much as we like her? I would say that that is a very good bet. But then again, I'm not a betting man. No, you always like a sure thing. When it avails itself, good night, Remy. Good night, Frank. See you around. Hopefully less and less now. <laughs> no, I charged the wrong thing. What did you have again? Medium decaf latte. Red lot, duck. I, I don't know how to get it to go back. 
This one and this one. This one? No, let me do it. Oh, she's thinking about her. Nobody can hear you. Nobody cares about you. Nothing will come to us. Why don't you let these nice gentlemen take you home? Francis? this show I love it so much okay so uh, Peter is on a very very quickly descending downward spiral this is not gonna end well for him we uh, start with the mm, with the drugs <laughs> that's not gonna end well Kathy Durant who is probably who's more than likely gonna be Secretary of State now um, do we think she's gonna have a little problem or with, um, what is it, Sancor? Like, Remy's Corporation? I think so, possibly. Or she'll probably just give it to him because he got her in that position. She'll do that for him. The lady asking, what was her name? Janine asking, uh, what's her name? The journalist girl who's writing all the stories. Um, Janine asking her who she's sleeping with. Yeah, she's going to start sleeping with Frank. Yeah, she is so going to start sleeping with him. <laughs> it was extremely insulting, but you don't write something unless it's going to come back. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, I, I can't. We'll have a better discussion at the beginning of the next episode because right now I'm just trying to process. That. Right now I'm just in love with this show and I'm trying to process, like, everything. <laughs> So we'll have a little bit more of a discussion at the beginning of the next episode. Tomorrow probably will be Death Note, I think. Um, I'm watching that with my daughter. So that's it. I will see you in the next episode um, or on Monday for Rome. Have a good weekend. Bye.